G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, another game day vlog. Season defining sort of stuff, it's the Swans taking on the D's at the MCG. The Melbourne Footy Club hit me up and have given me a media pass. So, a bit of Romy McDonald if the D's get up could be on the cards, but we'll see how that goes. We're not ripping the lid off it just yet, we know what happened last year. But uh, a bit of an ongoing thing that's been happening uh, when I go to D's games is losses. The last two games I've been to, we lost to Geelong after the siren. Zach Tui to win the game for the Cats! <laughs> and we lost to the Saints by two or three points. Oh! <laughs> so the, the, the Caden McDonald game day vlogs have been a bit of an omen, a bit of a curse. But today we banish the curse. Today is a curse banishing afternoon. I'm not leaving the G tonight till we have squashed the curse. The Caden McDonald vlog curse. Hashtag 2018. Um, but yeah, hopefully we, uh, we, we beat that curse. We beat the curse of um, beating the Swans. I don't think Buddy's lost to the Ds in his career. So there's a couple of omens we gotta knock off today. I'm gonna head out into the cold and wind and um, I'll get my media pass and then we'll see what happens. But it should be a good day at the G. Come on, you demons. I, um, I had to skip brekkie this morning because I woke up late. So here's my brekkie. Oh, great breakfast. Great breakfast. All right, guys, I just got to the game and I have my Melbourne media pass. And I'm just about to go down to the rooms and meet up with the oh great Ryan Larkin. And he's going to show me what I can get up to with the media pass. I wonder where we're off to. This will sound absolutely absurd. I've followed Jack Viney and Michael Hibbard up into the radio boxes. And they're all doing all their interviews right now. Um, so, unbelievable access with the media pass. We'll go see what they're up to in just a second. Alright, so it's game day here, the D's taking on the Swans, and I'm here with Jack Viney, how are you mate? Uh, going very well, thank you, yeah, no, big, big day. Uh, you just went into all the radio boxes, is that a fun part of being injured? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a fun part, but um, yeah, it's part of the gig when you're injured, they, uh, the footy club try and use you up, get around a couple of functions and whatnot yep. before the game. And um, being injured as well, have you got on Fortnite much? Uh, I haven't got on Fortnite, but I've been doing plenty of gaming. I've uh, been investing some time, time in the game called Destiny. Destiny? How many yeah, hours is going into Destiny? Uh, too many. Too many? Too many. Yeah, yeah, it's killing my uni. <laughs> you were telling me before that you, you're starting to struggle at Fortnite. What happened to the form there? Uh, I switched over, switched uh, from PS4 to PC. And, uh, so you're versatile. Versatile. Yeah, good mate. Have you get back on the track. Cheers, appreciate it. Have a good one. Um, sorry about that. No, you're uh, right. <laughs> Yeah, no, going from uh, controller to keyboard and mouse, it's a big, big change. Yeah. No, it would be. Yeah, I also haven't been able to sit down and invest, I uh, haven't been willing to invest the time into learning the new, new controllers. And uh, what's your favourite place to land? Where's your favourite place to land in Fortnite? I, I don't know, my, it was like... Um, Are you a real just go to tilt it and see what happens? Yeah, I'm not, I don't like trying to drop it on the edge and just... Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, just following, kind of, the, following the storm in. No, um, I, I want bulk kills. Yeah. Rather than, yeah, wins. Yeah, so. see, the only way I get a win is if it's just tactic. It's a slow man, you yeah. know, really build an innings, you know, maybe a risky reels, yeah, build like, an innings from risky. Clayton Oliver's like that, like, plays it real slow, progressive, but I'm um, just drop in, get shit done. Yeah. Kind of do. Yeah, beautiful. Um, and as a D's fan, it'd be silly not to ask this question, but are we going to see you back this year? Yeah, I'll, oh, well, not officially. If we, if we don't play finals, uh, you won't see me, but... Um, I'm confident yeah, be, we might see you then. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be fresh for finals. Oh, beautiful. Well, I'll let you enjoy the rest of your day and go D's. Go D's. Oh, Captain Jack Viney. What a man. The man, the myth. Um, geez, the media pass. It works wonders. I'll tell you something for nothing. So I'm going to go up to uh, the MCC members and um, I'm going to watch the game from there and then we'll see what happens. I'll come back. Uh, hopefully if we get the win later on. Huge game, come on D's Come on Frosty, big game on the Budweiser Come on Clark. 
mate. You're kidding me. Come on, Timmy. Kick out for us. You're kidding me! I think Alex Johnson's going down. No, no, no. Sickening feeling here at the G. All the best, mate. Kick 0-6 to start the game, not taking our chances. So quarter time here at the G, the D's 2-6-18, 2-6. Very inaccurate. The last time we were inaccurate, it was against the Cats down at GMHBA. We know how that ended. Second quarter just about to start. Also, I just saw that North lost. So that means North, Essendon and Geelong are all out the eight, a game behind us. If we win today, I think, if I do my calculations correctly, if we win today, we can't drop out. And that's just ridiculous as a D's fan saying, and I can't believe it. But if there was ever a time to whip the boys home, I'm going to be doing it now. Come on, D's. Jesse Hulk Hogan to kick the first goal of the second term and give the D's a nice little 18-point lead. Come on, D's. Was 11 scoring shots to four, but then the, the bloody Swans have kicked the last three in a row. And it's all even here at the G. So we're just not taking our chances early, which has been a tale of our year so far. Um, oh, it's just it's nervous times as a D's fan. It's just nervous times. Four straight to the Swannies. Now we've seen teams get a run on against us, and sometimes we can't stop them. For six straight Swannies goals in the second term. Fucking hell! Now down by 17 points. Uh, three quarters of the way through the second term. Frustrating. Oh, well done, Frosty! Burns Bud gets it back. Oh, well done, son. And not a great kick, Tommy Tyson. Oh, half-time gang, and the Ds are trailing by 14 points. We played reasonably well, just not quite converting, which I've said before. Um, it's one of those ones where I'm not completely worried. You know, I'm not throwing the baby out of the bathwater just yet, but if we can tidy a couple of things up and convert, I think we should be able to kick away this quarter and maybe get a little lead and then hopefully hang on, but it's frustrating. It's frustrating, but it's just where we're at. Third quarter just about to start. Down by 14. A lot to play for. Come on, Dees! Open of signs early with the big Budweiser starting to get off the chain. Oh, no, 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 no. Our boy, Charles Vladimir Spargo. I don't know if that's his middle name, but it is now has marked on the kick from 35 out, 45 degree angle for two in a minute for the D's. That's low. Oh, no. Swans have kicked another and they are well and truly on top now. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. 63 to 38 on the back foot during the third quarter here at the G. Ah, oh, frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Tommy Mack. For two in a row to the D's. Yes! Come on, D's! Back to 14 points. Oh, need another. And then another. And then another. And then another. Oh, Buddy Franklin to possibly end it, really. Late in the third. Up by 22 points. Oh, well, they're kicking goals for fun here at the G. We are down by 28 points, not long left of the third. If it was the other way round, I still wouldn't be uh, convinced that we would win. So I suppose, I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know what to say. This is shattering. Last quarter just about to start. Frustrating day at the office. I tell you something for nothing. I don't know. We've had our chances to really start well. And then the Swans have absolutely put us away from there. Tough one. I hope we can bounce back and make a game of it because we've got that capability. We've got the capability to kick seven or eight goals in a quarter, so it could happen. Looking a little bit unlikely at the moment, though. Here we go. What have we got left in the tank? Come on, Dees. It's frustrating. Ten minutes in, if we just kick one, you feel like the momentum could start to swing, but... Come on, Gussie. Please kick it. Please kick it. Keeney with their mark of the year! Oh. That was unbelievable. Uh, cheeky little smile here in a pretty disappointing last quarter. Jonesy just slotted one turner over the D's. It's back to seven points with plenty of time left on the clock. Come on, Harmsy. Handball's over the top to Fritch. To Jones. Come on, Jones. It's not going to make it. Down by eight points. So now I'm back home. I thought we had our opportunities. We didn't quite we didn't quite kick straight, which was disappointing, but apart from that, I thought the Swans strangled us all day, which was frustrating, but they are a very, very good side. Um it's one of those ones where people are now calling us pretenders, and it's it, it's fair in terms of the expectations that's been put on us, which I like, you know. I've I've sort of gone through years where no one expects anything from us and it, it feels like shit. So now that people have been saying we should be top four, we should be contending for a premiership, which I think is wrong. I think we're a year away from being contenders anyway. But now that that is the expectations, we're going to cop the pressure from not not fulfilling those, which is fine. It's actually it's good that the club's in that position. I think where we sit is probably where we deserve to sit. I think if we can slide into a seventh or eighth, that's been a great season. Um, obviously, we lost to Geelong twice by under five points or whatever it was. Um, we probably should have beaten Port over there when we dominated all game. Um, the Saints game we dropped. Um, so, you know, the Swans game, we, you know, on another day we could have pinched. So it's sort of one of those seasons where we win all those and maybe we are the top four or premiership contending sides. But we didn't take those opportunities and we sit where we sit. So, yeah, I, I think it would be unbelievably hard to take if we miss out. I get the feeling we'll pinch one against West Coast or GWS. Also, I was going to try and chat to a couple of players after the game, but um, it was just, you know, a little bit dull, a little bit flat in the rooms. I didn't want to go roaming around with my phone and just say, hey, do you want to have a chat? Because, you know, I felt for some of those boys. They look pretty gutted in there. But um, I just want to say a massive thank you to the Melbourne Football Club for letting me have some access to, to the players, especially pre-game. That was unbelievable to see what they get up to in the, in the media boxes. Um, I also want to say a massive thank you to everyone who watches because without your support, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to do some of the cool stuff. And it's sort of, yeah, like, a, and the cooler stuff I get to do, the more entertaining the vlogs are. And, and you know, I love showing you guys um, the cooler stuff that I get to do. So, yeah, I want to thank everyone who subscribes and, and, and follows me on, on everything. Um, you know, we're nearly on 10,000 followers on Instagram. So if you don't follow, head over. Surely we can get the 120 we need or whatever it is to tick over the 10k in the next couple of days. In the next month or so, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing a meet and greet. So if you would be interested in coming, I'm sort of just thinking about what I would do for the meet and greet. But yeah, if you're keen to come, comment down below and uh, we'll see if we get that happening. Thanks for your support as always. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.